Who do we have here? Balthazar. Well, Alf's escaped, you know. He flew away in one of the gallopers, means. Your lord knows where he went. He needs to sanguinarily well be burned. Let's burn him. Burn his hemic face off, and also his Pratt robe. His white robe. His detrital whitey ro robe robe. It must burn. Burn. I like white. I find it goes well with yellow, but only if you want it to. If you don't believe it does, then it doesn't. Just like bad smells. You only think they're bad if you're told they're bad. I don't like bad smells. Ignoring how those caterpillars uttered what they're trying to say, I do agree. Rohoff needs to be perished. We cannot be left to roam loose with the knowledge he possesses. If he rallies enough of a resistance, which it seems he's trying to do, then why, sirs, will well and truly buggered twice and went ways, till sun up, sun down, and then some? Yes, kill him. Kill the traitor. Let his blood run free, his flesh turn cold, his motor functions degrade and cease, and his entire being become uncertain. His body a shell, his soul a wanderer. Yes. Oh, I do so want to see his flesh cold and crawling with a million maggots, slowly chewing, chewing, chewing on the rot. Yes. Yes. Morik, you're a smelt and creepy man. And yet I think I too might mong and well delight in the sight of the fright of the white blight as I fight and smite him from this plain. Bloody it. Why, Gaspar, that's awfully poetic for you. I'm amazed. I'll very well show you a poetic maze. I'll trap you in it and scream tough and blood-curdling screams as you try in vain to evade the pain you'd be sure to gain. You'd slowly go insane and i just laugh. Laugh. Mong and laugh tripe and hard. What are you talking about? Shut up anyway, it's irrelevant. But we do need to address the Rohoff problem. Master, what think you? We should do away with him, yes? But how do we go about it? Yes, underlings. If the deserter, the traitor Rohoff, is left to run free, though he alone could pose no serious threat to us, he could gain the alliance of others which he's frustratingly good at doing. We have to do away with him, and quickly. He's the only one who knows, so with him gone we'll be safe, as long as we make nothing clear until it's too late for them. One of us should go to stop him, but who? Any volunteers? I like volunteers. They taste like cherries, but only if that's what you believe. If you prefer bananas, love and luck always taste a bit banana-y. Banani. And that's a funny word. That's a weird word to say. Banani. Banana nanani. I'm not surely well going because I bog and well can't be arsed. I'll go. Yes, if Rohoff is going to die, I would derive much perverse satisfaction from seeing the fear on his cyclopic face before he meets the Ever Reaper. Yes, I drink up his shock, his horror, and it would fuel me. It's what I live my life for, to see others end theirs. I can't have enough ends. So if I take my chances to see this one, I hope it's slow and painful the elation I get from such kills is unmatched by anything he has. Oh, just thinking about it makes me... Oh. Yes, you're creepy. I can't say we'll miss you while you're gone. So it'd be best if you did go. We all win that way. Take a battleship and follow Rohoff's trail. It should be easy enough to detect where he went and to deal with him. Now go. Yes, my master. When Rohoff's gone and dealt with, there'll be nothing to stop us. No, soon the galaxy will be ours! <laughs> Don't you mean ours, sir? We are working on this together. That's not just you. Yes, that's, that's what I said. Uh, weren't you listening? What? Hey, no, no, not at all. I had a nice pretty tune in my head. I was listening to that. It went like, na, 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 na. Uh, 